back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're going to dive right into today, into the review of American Mary. It's a independent horror film brought to us by Jen and Sylvia Soska. Yes, the Soska sisters, the one who brought us that fantastically titled film, Dead Hooker in a Trunk. Well, now they're back with American Mary. Been getting a lot of buzz on the independent film scene. They did get distribution on disc as well as video on demand. Now, American Mary tells us the story of Mary Mason, who is a med student who wants to go into surgery. But like medical student, you know, school will, it's really tapping the coffers and, and draining her bank account and just making her more and more broke. Plus, the luster of uh, the surgical world has kind of been lost due to certain events that happen uh, with her. So she ends up do, needing the money, getting pulled into the world of underground surgery where she can make lots of money and help people express themselves. Well, it turns out it's a, a life-changing decision that, uh, well, does she regret or not regret? You'll have to watch the film to find out. Now, American Mary. What I, what'll get you right away with this film is that it's a huge improvement on the overall production value and look of the film versus Dead Hooker in a Trunk, okay? Def, it, it, it could rank right up there with most Hollywood films that you see, Hollywood horror films. Loved the overall look of this film film. From the lighting that they use, the playing, the shadows, they do kind of this thing with this red light near the beginning. I'm not sure if it was intentional or not, but it's just something that I kind of noticed. They do this red light uh, thing for certain situations. Liked that. Loved the camera shots and the cinematography in this. Definitely were improved as well over Dead Hooker in a Trunk. Trunk. The overall production of this film definitely has gone up quite a bit from their first film, and it's great to see filmmakers improve and learn from their past films. You don't see that in Hollywood, you see that in independent films, and American Mary is a prime example of that. So plus is columns there for th for that. Also, there's not a lot of gore in American Mary. I kind of thought there'd be more, but this, what is done is looks great very well from appendages to blood. Uh, definitely done well. Not overdone, but done enough where it needed to be, and it wasn't done uh, over-the-top cheesy gore either. It was, it, it was called for due to the story, so like that as well. Uh, and then there's the performance of Catherine Isabel as, American, uh, as Mary Mason. Uh, oh, loved her character and her change. She does great at, as we watch her metamorphosize from this broke med student to this top underground surgeon. Definitely great character arc there. She sells the growth. She's not just playing the same person all the way through. And really liked her performance in that. Definitely brought the creepy and definitely just a, a, a great solid performance by her for carrying this film on her shoulders because she is the title character. Now, there was also a surprise character in here named Beatrice Johnson, played by Tristan Risk. I loved her. She reminded me of Audrey from Little Shop of Horrors. Definitely a great performance there. She she just she nails it as this person who is one of Mary's first uh, uh, customers, if you will, and also tends to be that voice that Mary can talk to, if not reluctantly, about her decisions that she's making. So. Great uh, character in Beatrice Johnson. One thing I will say, though, is most of the guys who have speaking parts in this film are dicks. Let me tell you, it made me regret having a Y chromosome in some of the scenes that they had. Uh, you know, so there is that. Uh, but it's it's written, you know, from a female perspective, and it's told through Mary's eyes. So uh, they did hold true to that, and some of the things that happen, you can understand why she, these characters are portrayed like they are, especially for a horror film, because if some if something mean and nasty happens to these individuals, you don't mind, right? Because they're dicks! So you have that. Now, it is not the most fast-paced film. There is decent dialogue in here. Uh, you know, it, it's evenly paced. What I will say, too, is it gives you some insight on the world of body modification and people trying to express themselves. It's as much as an introduction to that as it is a, a horror story. It is more almost like a thriller than a horror, I would say, but definitely got some uh, uh, unusual elements in here. So American Mary is definitely one of those examples of a film that is original coming out of the independent film scene, and it is more 
more original than what Schlollywood is producing with their remakes and reboots. If you're a fan of the independent horror cinema and a fan of independent film in general, I would suggest you check out American Mary and just see what an independent film can give an audience, okay? So definitely check out American Mary if you're a fan of those or just looking for something to break the monotony of the reboots and the remakes. Uh, American Mary should be on your list. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.